You guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So you remember where you were? No. <laughs> <laughs> so you were in the marketplace of our Latla. Ah, uh, yes. Diare, with his guidance, he got you there. You did a little shopping in the three hours whilst he was doing his trade. And he promised once his trade was done to take you to his contacts in case they helped you to find this library that you were looking for. So you return to Diare. Everything's packed up again. He seems ready to bring you to the next step. I have uh, a contact called uh, Ite, who is a human. He's a nice guy. I think he will help you as much as he can. We also have, uh, I have a lizard uh, friend, lizard man friend called Grinks, um, and he may be able to get you inside as well. So um, I can take you to them. Let's see. That, uh, I think Grinks may be available now if you'd like to uh, follow me. If you have cloaks um, and things to put over your head, I'd recommend it. Otherwise, I have a few things I could spare. Why? Uh, you have to understand you are low class in this place. It's as much for my uh, discretion as Grinks in dealing with us. Just some sort of respect. You have to be humble, you understand. I, I rather think it might be the jealousy of our people around us rather than our low class. In fact, if you think they may be jealous of our good looks and dramatic and gentle charms, then... We can conceal ourselves if you wish, but please don't lie about the reasons. <laughs> uh, he thinks for a second and then says, very well, yes, follow me. And he leads you towards the mountain where there are some openings near the bottom, some decorated tunnels that go underneath. So yeah, I will cloak myself up. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, I will. I'm burnt and blistered. Yeah. I haven't taken any um, exhaustion things because I think um, your food and drink have kept you okay. But yes, you probably will be burnt and blistered somewhat. Yeah. So it's a good idea. And he gets to a certain tunnel, he puts his hand up and he says, I will go in and talk for a moment if you can wait here. And he disappears. Around you, you can see one or two tiefling guards staring at you, but they're not making any movements at the moment. Moments later, he comes back out and says, OK, come, come. But we must hurry. And he uh, beckoned you inside. Let's go inside. Yeah, let's go inside. Inside, he beckoned you around a corner, and there, with reflective shiny stone behind this entrance, there is a tall lizard who looks at you with its inhuman eyes and looks at you each in turn. Makes a, a guttural sound at the beginning and before talking. Mm. What a strange group. What I have been told by my friend is that you are a useful group who have helped him, and so he is using his credit in order to help you. You have five minutes of my time, and I am intrigued. So speak. What is it that you need? We are world. looking for a library. Yes, the Mage's library. After a pause, so you are seeking knowledge? No, we are seeking books. For a particular purpose? Well, Our brains are hungry. Somebody else wants these books. Right. So you are humans, mercenaries, looking for trading books. Yes. Um, excuse me, but I am an elf, not a human, and I'm not a mercenary. I want these books to give to my beloved. Yeah. I'm sadly bound to do whatever she desires, whatever makes her happy. So here I am. So I would like the books, please. There's a good fellow. Okay. <laughs> uh, deception. De deception. <laughs> 20? No. You no. should get an advantage. Natural one. This is all in the credit of my good friend Diare. I can see that you are some sort of traders. 
and you were prepared to lie to get this stuff. You have come to me. I can help you. But you have to understand, I am taking risks in order to help you. And I do not trust you at all, except for DRA's word. In order to help you, uh, I know of the library. There is such a thing. And I may be able to find a way in. But what can you give me to make it worth my while? Well, what kind of risks are you taking? Humans are not allowed into the Red Hall. Oh, uh, what about that... elves? Yeah, what about elves? Not allowed into the Red Hall either. Outrageous. <laughs> what, about well, about... what exactly is allowed into the Red Hall? A certain established noble lizard or tiefling. You are neither. What about a wizard? Ooh. A wizard has not been invited into the halls for some thousand years. Um, well, how busy is this year. library? If we managed to get in there, would we just be able to wander around and do what we wanted? Or is it a regular throng of activity? The halls of knowledge are kept very secret. They are only visited by certain grey lizards for knowledge. And that is all. It has long been a secret place. If we manage to get in there dressed as lizards in our lizard suits, <laughs> would we be bothered nor seen by many people? You are making it sound very simple, but I don't think it is. The library itself is old and has certain mechanisms inside it. This is why we only entrust grey lizards. What about the orange lizards? You mock me, I can <laughs> tell. Diara, I only have two minutes left. No, we certainly like your help, but we just don't understand what risks you're taking so we know what payment we're prepared to make. Mm. I will help you get inside, and once you're inside, I do not want you hanging around, so I will provide as much help to get to the mage library as I can. I will have a word with my grey lizard associates. But... To get you inside is a great risk to me. If you are spotted inside, they will wonder why and where you came from. This is a risk to me. If it's treasure you're after, we can lead you to lots of treasure. I do not need um, maps. I would like things now. What sort of things? Tell me. What do you have? You are the one that said you are short of time. Let us know how much money you want. I do not want Stop money. leading us on this merry dance. Just come out with us. Why, why all this bluster and buffoonery? Well then, 20,000. 20,000? You can buy your own ship for that. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the risk we I take. We're not going to give you 20,000 just to get into a library. Then what do you have? Uh -huh. We have a nose. Did you oh. say a nose? Yes, we have. I think we all have a nose. <sighs> Between us. Oh, I'd like to keep my nose, thank you. <laughs> I think what my friend is trying to say is that we yes. have a nose for adventure and treasure when we're in some place like the Mage's Library, and we could maybe do a share of the spoils that we bring back. Could be worth more than 20000 Wonderful. Well recovered. Oh. <laughs> well, he's not being specific. That is interesting, but uh, I would still like to know what, what you have. You are adventuring types, people who do trade. Trade me something, something magical, something interesting, something I would not find in the marketplace. What do we have? I haven't been keeping my inventory up very up to date, really. I haven't taken any of the magic, but um, I think other people have, have magic items. Well, we've got um, the chime of opening. I'll hold that up. Mm. Dad. No. Wait, no, no. I whispered to no, no. <laughs> and I'll, I'll turn around and say what while I'm holding the chime of opening in front of me. Does anything open? <laughs> <laughs> if only it did that. Like his heart. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two yeah. prize winning conkers on strings. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're 22 Zs. Have you ever considered making them face each other? Oh, no. We need to have a 44. But... That would be worth 20,000. Yeah, so this chime of opening, this sounds interesting. Does it work? I, I don't know. Do you have anything here that needs opening? 
or that is tough to open? No, Mo, don't trick this nice man into giving him a fake chime. Orcs, I don't know what you're talking about. No, if you have something that's locked, I'll see if I can open it with this. Okay, he says. He shows you a chest. Do you give it a go? Okay. Um, do I have any idea how this thing works? Do I just... I'll, I'll give it a little... Chime, right? It's a hit it. I'll do what seems obvious. Okay. Yeah, it makes a nice ringing sound, which reverberates around the room, and after a moment, he tries it, and it does open. Ooh. Oh. But no. your friend was so convinced that it would not work. But um, it seems to be fine. Hmm. This will help you get in. One more thing. And then I will help you. I was thinking that um, in exchange for this, you should be giving us more than entrance to the library. It's an extraordinary item. And I, I, I think we should probably withdraw the offer of it. It's worth more than entrance to the library. Put something on deposit for me. If you do go into the library and you do retrieve an item of my choosing, then you can have the item back. What do you say to that? Let's be quick about it. What is the item that you wish to get from the library? There is a particular book, a particular book on binding that I would like to have. And what is the name of this book? How to bind. <laughs> <laughs> By Arthur Penis. It's Alpha's Chemical Binding. Who's Chemical Alpha's Binding? Chemical Binding. Alpha. Alpha. Very well, very well. But this is just a promise, you understand, and I want something to keep hold of until you come back a deposit. What can and you offer We've already me? given you more than enough for entrance to the library. Diare, my patience grows thin. Here, have my old friend breastplate. <laughs> it's shiny and new. And what does it Very, do? It's armour. I could walk into the marketplace right now and retrieve an armour very similar to this. No, you cannot. This is magical armor. Armor, so magical, it will amaze you. <laughs> Signed by Errol Flynn. <laughs> Errol Flynn. It says so right here. Convince me. Or show me something worthwhile. <laughs> okay, hang on. I'll uh, roll deception, shall I? Well, do some talking first, Rob. Yes. Now, there's Errol Flynn chap. Hero, swashbuckler type. He endorsed this lovely steel chess piece. But he himself gave up this fine uh, chest armor, chest plate, to buy a ship long, long time ago. You're telling me that this breastplate is worth the same as a ship? Yes, a big, mighty warship with lots of oars and sails and things. Okay, Rob, roll a deception check. Um, but before he rolls a perception check, okay. can I use my... Advanced illusion cantrip. Okay, oh, what are you gonna do? Um, can I make the armor glow and a bunch of like sparkles come off of it? Sure. When he says that. Do a slider hand on that. Okay. DC ten. Ooh. Okay. As Lace finishes the speech, there is indeed a little gleam, a little sparkle off this armor. And uh Rob, you have advantage now. Okay, so 2d20 now. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so one's a 16 and one's a 2. So add an advantage, so it's 18, I suppose. Hmm. He says, you do seem, I think, to believe your story. And I, uh, says, I, I think there may be something in this. I will keep hold <laughs> of your Errol Flynn armour until you provide me my chemical binding book. Very well. You have convinced me... And so I will get you inside the lizard kingdom. I'm and provide us with lizard suits? I have some work to do. I will find... No, no lizard suits, I'm afraid. I will... Oh. <laughs> I have some work to do. I will hopefully be back within 24 hours. In the meantime, you will have to <laughs> spend some time as... Well, as slaves, I'm afraid. It is the only way you can exist in this place. No, this is not acceptable. You must put us up in the finest hotel and give us a generous wine budget, I'm afraid. That's how this is going to work. I think I understand this as humour, uh, DRA. <laughs> DRA sort of embarrassingly laughs in the background. Yes. This is DRA, my... you never said anything about slave menial labour. I, I, I never spend time in the Lizard Kingdom. I only speak to my friend. 
So <laughs> well, I'm not going to be a slave for 24 hours. It's the only way you can be in this area. I will find you. Well, this room seems quite nice. I don't seem to be a slave at the moment. <laughs> I might just hang around here and search for wine. I start moving to the corners of the room, searching. <laughs> It says, no, you are not going to stay in my office. And soon, lizards will be coming to see me for various tasks. I cannot be seen with humans hanging around my office. I am far above your station in this place. Well, we, we can probably just go back to the market and hang out there. No, 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 not after market time. Can I use my disguise self spell to make me look like a tiefling? You probably could. You have to see what it says, but I don't see where you can add features of a tiefling. With all due respect, we have given you a powerful magical item and have had nothing in return yet. I find it very hard to believe that you do not have a room that could accommodate us for 24 hours. And you're insulting our intelligence by suggesting that that is the case. If this is so, we may take our item back. And you will never get this book of chemical binding that you seek. Hmm. He thinks for a moment and says, well, maybe I could put you in a cell. <laughs> Will there be wine? I can provide you with some wine. Would that make well, you feel right to me. <laughs> okay. And cushions. And cushions. Yes, why not? <laughs> he makes a clicking sound. And actually, yeah, very soon. He waves to Diari, who starts to wander away. and says, it sounds like you have made up your mind. I will... Uh, Visit Ite on my own, if you are happy. I'm sorry, visit where? This is Diari speaking. Ite is my human friend. He has knowledge on the tieflings. But if you are happy, um, then you have a way forward. I am pleased for you. Well, I, I'm happy with the wine. If, if any of you want to go and hang out somewhere else, it's up to you. Wait, did we have another option? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I gave you time to meet Grinks. Um... It seems like there is a place for you to wait. Otherwise, there's tieflings. Tieflings can also go into the red hole. Oh. Would they make us slaves for a day? I don't know. I would have to talk to Ite. Um, so can I disguise myself as a tiefling? You could disguise yourself as a tiefling, yes. Oh, but the duration is one hour, so I think I might save it. Okay. Never I don't mind. seem to like these lizards very much. I don't know. He's... He's making a deal where he's just looking for something that we bring back to him, not actually giving up our own stuff. And he's making us slaves. Oh, but he's letting us stay in a cell with wine. Yeah, a cell. That's, That's for prisoners. I, I, I think it's fun. I, th I think we should um, just hang out in the cell for the day and then go into the library. Why can't we go into the library now? Sorry. He's figuring out how to get us there, I think. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, can't our two roguish types have a little meander into the library. I don't think it's that simple. Oh. We don't even know where the library is. Mm -hmm. Do you say I this see. out loud at all, or is this uh, in hushed voices? Oh. Yes. Look, Sorry. we've got cushions and wines. What's wrong with you people? Let's get to it, get some sleep, and okay, you know, the library will be here soon enough. Yeah, for, for one sector, it's making some sense. <laughs> Yeah. Right, I'll, I'll sit down in the corner of the cell and apply my anti-burn cream. Very good. Some lizards arrive. He makes some noises in lizards. Do you speak lizards at all? I'm guessing no one does. But no. after a few seconds, he then says, These are particularly special prisoners. I want you to provide them with some of our wine and add it into their cell. So look after them as best you can. Maybe a cushion or two. Uh, I think some squishy things they would like. And give them some wine. Put them in cell number 15. And he gives you a little nod and then walks away. And these lizards lead you down some stairs. Oh. Yeah. And yes, you're provided with a cell. One of the lizards looks at your backpacks and uh, they just shrug and lock you in with, with all your stuff. So you have all your possessions. <laughs> you're in the cell. And about 15 minutes later, wine arrives in a jug and glasses. Right. This and wine so... will do, I suppose. <laughs> so, yeah. so what, what's this, how big is this cell? It's fairly large. Compared to the cell you had in Midness, this is twice as large. And it's ah. dry. 
There are no windows. There are places where you can do your business. There's some water as well. Uh, I must insist you all hold your business until we are out of the cell. <laughs> I'm going to eat a sandwich and try to go to sleep. Well, you're uh, sandwich. I, I will I'm drink fine. wine and tell people of my adventures in the dark in my distant youth. I will <laughs> drink wine, listen to the lizards, and see how good I can get at pretending to make lizard sounds. Okay, okay. You can hear them very briefly in the distance. Do a nature check, Dan. Yeah, at the moment it's oh. indistinguishable from crickets or other things. It's, it's too distant to really get a grasp okay. of how they're managing that. All oh, right, never mind. I don't think you find my stories that entertaining either. <laughs> I've heard my constitution roll, so therefore I need to do my business. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and persuade you I not to. You fail constitution roll. Uh, no, I've got to go. You can voluntarily do your business. I've got to go. <laughs> anyway, um, so I forget. Ah. <laughs> so, so you, you've had this amount of time the equivalent of a short rest for sure a number of hours have gone by and you hear some footsteps coming up the corridor it sounds like there's more than one one is creating a lizard sound and the other one is saying rrr, rrr, in a much deeper voice that was freaky <laughs> and then it gets to your cell a much larger lizard than Grinks appears in front of you, and uh, he looks very briefly at you and says, Yes, they will do. Prisoners, we have need, and you will do our bidding. Um, we will do no such thing. More wine, please. Silence! <laughs> you will follow my lizard crew. But we're, lizard waiting for, crew. we're waiting for Grinks. How dare you speak about Griggs in his first name? You call him master or commander. You do not call him Griggs. Okay, we're waiting for the master and commander. Why would he spend time worrying about prisoners? You have your water, you survive. The crime we have committed is of a delicate nature, and he would be very cross indeed if we were removed from this cell. You take I almost your life in your hand by suggesting such a thing. I suggest you go and find some other humans to do your bidding, you lizardy buffoon, and let us drink in peace. I almost fall asleep listening to this little one's laughing and talking of rubbish. Bring him. You leave him alone. Bring him them all. Tell me something. If I chop your tail off, will it grow back? <laughs> you will do our bidding in order to survive. We need you... How many lizards are there? Seven. Seven? Yes. This is just about the breastplate, right? I draw my sword and say, you will leave no, now no, no. and get some other fools to follow you, or you will regret it. I, I do some kind of freely swivel with my sword, and it's, you know, a flourish and that stuff. <laughs> I'll say no, no, no need for any uh, violence. We're just waiting here for the Master Commander. That was our instruction, so... Leave us here in our cell. <sighs> he takes a breath and then stares before saying, Prisoners, we have need of your bodies down below. You will gain credits and maybe less time in prison. Don't you have some bugs to eat? How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? All right, Excuse sorry, me. Explain the situation. Are you asking for our assistance in fighting some people below? Is that what's going on here? I was hoping you would see sense. I indeed, you are, you, are required. I, I didn't hear the word please. <laughs> oh, you should go please. trembling. Please. I go up to him and start moving my elbow and theatrically winking at him and then touching my nose and going, ah, see? And I say, this is part of the plan, people. Follow him. And I'll say to Hector, I'll say, Hector, please. Please what? Let's, <laughs> let's go. Sounds like we can fight something for fun. Whip him. <laughs> and a bright blue whip comes through the cell bars and attacks you, Hector. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'll try and grab the whip as well. If I... Wow. That's pretty not going to happen. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bet John's doing a wry smile now. 
<laughs> That's 18 damage. Jesus, bloody hell. 18 damage? Is it Indiana Jones? <laughs> do, 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 do. You saw it, it's a D6 plus 4. And it's a crit. <laughs> I'm unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear myself thick. That's a, that's a hell of a whip, Jesus. <laughs> I'll say, we're not going to help you now. I'm not looking for help, I'm looking for obedience. You are prisoners. I will, of course, revive your friend. No, back off, I can do it. Leave him to me. All right. I'll sort out my friend, don't we worry. Cure wounds, 1d8 plus 7, Ben. Thanks, Rob. You're a star. I'm refusing to even look at the lizards now. <laughs> Prisoners, follow me. And he opens the door to the cell. I'll sit down. <laughs> my head in my hands. Come on, chaps. This is all part of the plan. I'll get up and I'll start following him. Come on. This is what he wants us to do. You know it makes sense. I distinctly saw this, this lizard wink and nudge a bit. Did you? Okay. I'll, I'll go along with Lace. I'll follow him too. There you go. Come on, chaps. Rams a word. Okay. Pebble and Pebble? Hector? I'm uh, following, of course. I'm not. I'm sitting in the cell sulking. <laughs> um, I'll drag him out. Say, so, come on, Hector. You like a good fight. I'm still injured from that whipping. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> that was an impressive strike, I have to say. You could poke somebody down with that. And you expect me to fight alongside you when you, and this is how you behave? I expect you to do as you are told, human. This is how it is. I am an elf. <laughs> he blinks. Oh, yes. Can you heal me? Do you have any potions that can heal me properly? Are you ungrateful, bastard? <laughs> <laughs> and an apology... Better off, spite this one, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a, a religious check, Rob. Whoa, wicked. <laughs> Three. <laughs> All right. That's you just mutter to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Fall in line Ooh. and follow me. All right. All right. Hector, are you playing along? Apologize. Yes. <laughs> Hit him with your whip once more. <laughs> God, do it. Oh, miss. Uh, no. Pathetic. Can I try stabbing the guy with the whip? No. No, no please. I, I will try and um, insert myself between Oryx and the guy. We don't want another one of our party members dying. He won't, you won't have to. Hector just needs to stop asking for apologies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't try to stab him then. Such Let's just go with that, then. Hector's not much good in a fight anyway. That's true. <laughs> no mates. <laughs> Are you coming along? Yes, we're coming Dark along. Dark elf. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I, I turn my back to him. Oh, uh, Master, that is the, the dark elf way of saying yes with great humility. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Give me a deception check now. <laughs> so yes, he can't bear to face you in his shame. Nice. Start stamping your feet, Ben. I see. Well, that's more like it then. I'll, I'll follow behind. Okay. You go down a series of tunnels. Along the way, you encounter a few other humans, uh, some who are chained, other creatures as well. There's a dwarf. And along the way, you do see the occasional bollywog, actually, which seem to be manning this area here. You get the feeling of sewers that you may have seen in, in other places. And then the stairway narrows, and waiting there are three... Well, that's something which you've never seen before, really. It's, they're bollywogs, but they have lots of equipment. Like, um, they have a bag of tools and they have a pickaxe and some sort of tube of ointment of some sort in their other hand, and on top they have a light attached to their head. They sound like mine is. Yeah. These are our faithful repair bullywogs. 
When you say faithful, do you mean you're bullying them to do your stuff by whipping them to their death? I'm warning you. <laughs> they are faithful, they've proven their worth, and they are well treated. Aren't you? They nod furiously. <laughs> are you really? <laughs> they avert their eyes from you. So there it's are... just us, the seven lizards, and those three bully frogs at the moment, yeah? Mm. All right, show them your frog bracelet. Okay, I'll show it to them. One of them looks wide-eyed and goes out in an inadvertent belch. <laughs> and then looking around at the others. Yeah, so it's, it's the seven. There are a few lizards walking through as well. But they come and go. Down there, oh, are... we have disturbances Actually, of pipes that have been damaged we suspect some kind of pest. We need you to protect our faithful Bollywog repair Bollywogs <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and eradicate the pests whilst they do their work. You're sending us sewers? These are all sewers, part of the wondrous system created by the lizards. What kind of pest? That's what you're there to find out. And you can use up all that anger to good use. I trust you will be joining us in protecting them. <laughs> I trust you will be protecting them. And we you will be here to ready to reward you. But I will send uh, someone to look out for you, yes. Are they, so, are they perhaps going anywhere near the Red Library? He looks at you for a little while there before speaking and, uh, and says these are sewers, there are pests... That's all you need to worry about, little one. What, what if we get lost? We need a map, surely. You will not get lost. Follow the faithful bollywogs. Okay. Okay, then, chaps. Excellent. Let's go. Okay. Down the stairs you go. So we're in the top left corner. Yes. I love these bollywogs. <laughs> cool. <people. laughs> it gets a lot hotter here. As ahead of you, you can see lots of mist rising and you can hear the bubbling of what must surely be lava. Magma. Magma. (laughs) 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 Says one one of the (laughs) bullywogs. Pointing to the way. And the bullywogs start moving. You can start moving forward. Okay, I'd like to go at the front and scout. Sounds good. Ooh. Why does everything have to be fiery? Hot. <laughs> I'll hand back with Icky. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I'll go uh, near the front, being yeah. stealthy as well. Me too. You can see ahead of you the first pipe, which hangs over the magma flow. And one of the bullywogs is pointing ahead. Make a perception check. We're all on our toes. You are. As a group, you see something through the mist. Purple and Nomo especially can make out two creatures who seem to be... Uh, Two creatures! ...feeding (laughs) off the pipes and the steam and magma coming out of them. Feeding off Uh, the pipes! What kind of creatures? They appear to be... Are they rabbits? They were fairly similar to what you've seen before. They're very small, they have very sharp features almost goblinoid in facial form, but they have wings. They're uh, small. Okay. Um, I draw my bow and kind of look around nodding at people in a kind of way that says, draw your bows. Uh, that sort of nod. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Very specific yeah. nod. Alright, so I think it's time for another dancing tuna sandwich, don't you? <laughs> uh, I will also yes, indeed. draw my bow. Yeah, me too. And I'll get my ice knife spell ready. I will cut up my fingers and hold up one finger. And then a few seconds later, I'll hold up two fingers. See where I'm going? I say, wait, do we shoot on one or zero? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to shoot it. <laughs> and then I hold up three fingers with great emphasis. <laughs> and then I shoot my cross. And as you were flying, one of them was prepared for this. I shoot on two. <laughs> 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 okay. 
Okay, Avon, roll initiative. Oh, <laughs> You're not gonna get a prize action then, gentlemen. One of them spotted you. Nice. <laughs> While well, we were discussing how long it takes. Got Pebble, Nomo, Hector, and. I've got 15. Magma Methods. I was missing for the week when we came across these last. What are they like? It's crap. They're crap. <laughs> <laughs> they're on fire. They're on fire. They are on fire. Does that mean they're fighting really well? If you want to, you can make a very quick nature check. That might give you some more knowledge on how they work. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Fiery blobs! <laughs> I got a 20! Uh, Natural you know, 20. Uh, you read this Those book cats this are on morning, fire, we have to breakfast. save them. <laughs> <laughs> Lice, you know that these methods, certainly they can fly. The thing you have to watch out for with methods is their fiery deaths are explosive. Uh, I remember methods. Mm. The fiery deaths or breaths? Deaths. Deaths when they die. Oh. Oh. Are they like kamikaze pilots? <laughs> <laughs> sort of. All right, Nomo, you're up. Um, I'm going to shoot an arrow. At, uh, this guy, and then run away. <laughs> Where in the order do uh, uh, Bodyguard repair bodyworks? Good uh, question. And what would they do? Yeah, so the bodyworks. Yeah, they got <laughs> they got they got a one. I see. See, so, yeah, right at the end. So no more. Fourteen. Their armor class is eleven. So you hit. Okay. Then I'm going to uh, get out of the way, back up a little bit. 12 damage, okay. It gives a gurgly, fiery shriek. Um, could you give us an example of what that sounds like? <laughs> <laughs> it's Welsh, is it? <laughs> Pissed off about the football results. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you! Ivor! <laughs> <laughs> and flying it uh, gives a fiery burst here. So this is a cone. So you all have to make a DC dexterity save. So that's you, Oryx. Let's so make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. And the uh, faithful Bollywogs. You passed. Well done. Nice. Which means you take half as much as this. 20 d6. <laughs> you take three damage, essentially. So mark down three damage. Okay, just for information, the Bullywogs have 11 HP. All right, so this one's moving forward. So they, yeah, they really take pissed three. guys off. <laughs> they came back and they, all the Bullywogs were dead. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just out of character, I'm going to kill that lizard. <laughs> I'm gonna, I, if I get the slightest chance. <laughs> Turn it into a handbag. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'll make some lizard skin pants. <laughs> <laughs> that would be particularly eventful. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I fart, I'd be like, I'd have a little <laughs> smile. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hector, Pebble, and the Bullywug make the same DC. Dexterity to save. Bullywugs are doing super. I'm dancing. Yeah, uh, you're all good. <laughs> the Matrix in here. <laughs> you all take four damage. I <laughs> can't suffer that too many more times. All right, Hector. Okay, which one's already been shot by Nemo? The one at the top. Okay. Actually, I'm going to defer till someone moves close enough so I can do a sneak attack on him. Okay, so that's a ready action then. Lice. I guess I'll just uh, shoot my bow at uh, the one near Oryx. Okay, you have a disadvantage on that because you're shooting through three people. Well, you can move first. Aren't they flying? No? Yeah, but they're essentially head height. Oh, I see. Hmm. Oh, right. I beg your pardon. I better not then. I'll, I'll bless the guys in front of me. Oh. There's an area effect. 
So everyone gets like a plus one right. to sort of their die rolls and things. Nice. Thanks, so it, yeah, so either add it onto your dice roll or there is a place you can put it in your character sheet for a plus one, but maybe just add it to your yeah. dice rolls for now. Okay, after Lice then, um, either Hector or Oryx. So if you're still waiting, Ben, it'd be Oryx. Would it be a disadvantage if I go for this guy? Like with my ice knife spell? No. I'm going to use my ice knife thing. Okay. Which will be very effective against fire elements. Sorry, yeah. One day. Right. It was a miss as well. Yeah, it was a miss, but he still has the uh, even on a miss, two d six cold damage. Okay, save for half, so we can do a deck save. Okay, and, and as it's um, ice as well, yep, it becomes just a pile on the floor. Right. Nice one. Oh, great! So um, it didn't explode because of the ice. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Pebble. Okay. Um, first of all, I'm going to shoot at the remaining one. Here we mm. go. So, yeah, you, you, you roll a d4 for your bless. Okay. So, whatever you get, you add that to your roll. Oh, great. A yeah. d4? For yes. each roll? Yes. Cool. Stunner. That hits Ooh. anyway. So, that's uh, seven damage. Okay. Would I have been one of your blessed people despite all the shit I keep giving you? <laughs> yes, yes. I wouldn't Aww. have blessed the bully. Um, <laughs> I'm going to look around at the area effects of oh, that last thing that happens, calculate, uh, and then oh. desperately go, Wah! and jump across. You calculated. Thinking kind of comically and out loud that if we're all in the same place, then we're all going to get hit again, so I'm moving away. Okay. I, I assume hopping over the... You're doing a diagonal head. across the water there, so that's essentially 15-foot jump across magma. I like your style, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be an athletics check. I think it's fairly difficult. I think uh, DC 10? Don't forget, you can still add your D4. Oh, yeah, I'm going to add that D4. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, oh. Yeah. you even clear the pipe. Dan, I always visualize your character as being short and fat. Is that right? Tall and fat. Tall and fat? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, my girth belies my agility. Right. So, Bullywood Guard's now left, so Hector, do you want to do anything at this point? I will. I will move to there and shoot the guy. Using the bless. So that's about 13 bless. plus 4. It's, it's just plus 1. I just wrote Oh, I see. Yes. It's um, enough so just, to hit it, yeah. So 5 damage. 5 damage is taken. 17 damage. Okay. The music's really cool. <laughs> okay, the Bullywog guards. This one hops next to Hector. This one hops over there. This one just points. Then goes. <laughs> pointing out the magmin and does not move any further. Nomo. Nomo will uh, take a shot. Yeah, Nomo. Yes. That's good for seven. It explodes. Boom. Which, um, if anything, it just damages the pipe even more. But oh. it, it is dead. Yay. Okay. What's up? <laughs> Rob, can you do another Bullywick sound effect? <laughs> <laughs> It says as it gets to work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is this is a sewage pipe that's, um, that finishes in like a magma pool. That's really clever. <laughs> yes, it's good. <laughs> Wish I had one of those. <laughs> yeah. It's very cleanly. Hey, it's all free. Okay, let's protect our body bulb charges. Okay. Are we all expected to jump across this magma? Yeah, hop to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just got to drop your own height, basically. It's only about finding a bit more than your own height. But nine. Do we have to roll? What, oh. what do we have to roll? It would be a DC five in most cases. Oh, you're really going to regret it if you roll less than a five. Oh. Yeah, I mean Pebble did it dramatically, which is why it was a ten. But so athletics. Yes. Athletics. Yeah. That's right. If if we do a dash, oh. I think oh. that. Ben, uh, oh. Hector, describe Sorry. how you did that. I <laughs> elegantly. Put out my arm, leap, spinning about seven times, landing on the other side with a ah! 
Hi. <laughs> I did it. Very good, very good. Okay. I think he will just fly over. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a dash. I don't know if that does anything, but... Uh... It's trip. Just on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Doubles your jump distance, I think. But I'll just roll in athletics. Okay. Oh. Like no, no, you, you saw what Hector did. Uh, how do you uh, <laughs> respond to that? <laughs> I'll use my spear as something of a pole vaulter. <laughs> And uh, leap over it, and then do a roll on the other side and come up with my spear like I'm ready to poke somebody with it. Uh, the <laughs> the pillow box must be thinking, oh my god. <laughs> he's, he's, like, he's like Tackleberry from Police Academy. <laughs> <laughs> the one who noticed the bracelet taps his bracelet in a sort of a Luis Suarez way and kisses it, and goes, and holds it in the air <laughs> after your jump. <laughs> As Oryx lands after a fairly ordinary jump, I, I shake my head disdainfully at him. <laughs> I'm letting my side down, Oryx. And soon, after about half a minute, they complete the tunnel <laughs> and point forward again to the sound of Rob. <coughs> there we go. <laughs> and they lead on. <laughs> boom, 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 bang, yeah. Tom loves that. Really? The, the frog. <laughs> Yeah, he'd, if he's dropping in the car, I'll, I'll just put it on my phone, as you saw. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should move quietly through uh, these sewers. Yeah, do you decide to do that? I think it would make sense. Or, or maybe Oryx should send his weasel forth. He hasn't got one, has he? I'm not sure he has. Yeah. Did you, he's did he's you, had it. Okay, you, you Oryx, recreated he'll it. He'll die straight away. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> make him swim in the magma. Should be able to toss it over the magma pretty easily. Wherever you get your weasels from, they're an awful batch. Don't <laughs> switch to horses or something. Switch your dealer. <laughs> yeah. So you get to here, and there is a sound, some sort of hissing sound from the other side. Through the mist, through the steam of the lava, you can try and make out what you want if you wish. Perception check. Mm. <laughs> Nomo's reliving his glories of, of that jump still. Doesn't see it. <laughs> Hector, you see it first. White. Very difficult to see within the steam. Almost camouflaged by the steam coming up from the mag. There are two objects on the other side. Objects. As in creatures. And I'll show you them now. Similar size oh. to the previous ones. Steamy guys instead of fiery guys, maybe. Mm. What were the first ones? They were called uh, Johnny magma, magma Methods. Steam or Smoke Methods. Do I think they've seen us through all this mist and stuff? You think that they're too busy soaking in the vapours? Okay, I quietly raise my bow, doing the same nod as before. <laughs> all right. And brace an arrow. I too will notch a bolt. Me too. Rob, did the uh, bullywug say anything at this point? Magma! <laughs> <laughs> and they turn around at that point. Shit! <laughs> Roll initiatives. <laughs> can, I, can I loose my notched arrow just quickly? Or... <laughs> <Go on. laughs> um, you're ready to go. I'll give you a plus five on your initiative roll then. <laughs> or, or, or an advantage, basically. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Nomo again. Nomo again. Super speedy. Super speedy, and uh, but no surprise here. <laughs> oh, wow! A bit surprising. Oh yeah. So you that, that was the one on the pipe. That one there. Okay, fourteen damage. Next up, Oryx. Do you think that fire would hurt these creatures? Um, it might not. Okay, then I'll take a shot at the one closest to me with my crossbow. Okay. 13 does hit, so you do 5 damage. Alright. Hector. I will shoot. You hit? Which one do you hit? Ooh. Um, 
The one that's already been hit. Uh, the one that Nomo hit. It would yeah. be, okay, no, no, so that's 18 total. And I will run away from the people who are to be guarding. <laughs> All right. The Bullywogs, essentially, I'll, I'll give them a wisdom saving throw. Wise Bullywogs. <laughs> no, they are not wise Bullywogs. They go up to here, one jumps, and everyone waits, and he starts trying to fix the pipe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, Lice. I'm going to shout, come back, you fools. Has one of these things been destroyed? No, no, no. I think they're both alive. I'll, I'll pull this one back and point to that thing. So you're talking to this bullywog and persuading him not to go forward? Yes. Okay, yep, you can do that. That's your four-round action. And I'll tell him to tell his mate who's just crossed the magma to come back as well. Okay. Can you do the audio for how the bullywog speaks to the other bullywog? <laughs> so that's going on whilst you're attacking uh, Pebble Okay, I'm going to try and distract them from these poor bodywogs by rather recklessly going <laughs> and then trying to jump over here <laughs> over the bodywog can I just land in front of it and then kind of run forward uh, yeah you can uh, DC 7 I love it before I ask over to. If that happens, Rob, I'm coming to you. <laughs> right. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good job. Steam yeah, effort. Me... So, this steam effort, he will attack you. These vaporous claws come out and reach out to you, Pevel. Vaporous claws? Yes, vaporous claws doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> <Hooray>! <laughs> <laughs> Just try some claws made of solids. They open your paw. <laughs> this one will fly up to here and do a cone, which will hit lice and this bullywug. So you both have to make a DC... DC 10. The bullywugs are behind him. I could use him as a shield, couldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you advantage. Well, right, thanks. <laughs> oh, poor bullywug. Wait! Good to give me an advantage. Oh yeah. Yep, you swerve out of the way. In fact, you did it so well that I'm I'm, I'm going to say you take no damage for that. Um, uh -huh. As the bullywug takes it full in the face, another five <laughs> damage. So it's back up to Nomo. All right. Yeah, Lice is kind of in the way of the shot, but if I go up here, all right, I'll have a pretty straight shot, will I? Straight to me. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Nothing in the way. Yeah. Damage, 10. Uh, does a 10 hit? Yeah, it does. I'm trying to save this Bullywug's life. And it's not helping. No, it blows up. Ah. The Bullywug, I think, is within range. I will therefore ah. take 1d8 fire damage. Um, it had two hit points left, so... Well, you never know. You never know. I could quickly heal him. And the Bullywug croaks. <laughs> I thank you. Uh, what's the death croak of the bullywug, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> Echoes across the chamber as it falls to the floor. <laughs> no! Okay, Oryx. I'll shoot my crossbow at the only one left. Yeah. Oh, nice shot. Oh, yeah. It's, uh, 11 damage to the five it's already taken. So, 16 <laughs> so far. Okay, good shot. Hexer. Oh, I shall <laughs> miss. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and that arrow goes straight into the lava. Cannot be retrieved. In fact, it was so bad, I want you to do a deck saving throw then. A deck saving throw? Yes. Oh, otherwise, you're going to get rid of us, aren't you? Oh, good, good saving throw. Oh, yeah, that's fine. You were on one foot for a second, but then you recovered yourself. Didn't fall in. I, I wink at um at Laius. He <laughs> <laughs> st still had his ears deafened by this frog call. As it did. <laughs> I'll raise my fist at you and shake it at the wrist in your direction. <laughs> Bullywogger guards, 
Um, the one which was shouted at is still looking stunned at its dead comrade. This one <laughs> just hops to its side. Lights. <laughs> <laughs> Lights, it's your turn. Oh, God. Well, can I shoot above the pipe at this thing? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. I'll shout Pebble Move. <laughs> I will oblige him by moving here if, if I can. There you go. Oh, I missed anyway. Which is a good uh, thing because, yes, he missed. So I'm hmm. glad you moved. Yeah. Uh, Pebble, it's your turn. As an um, arrow goes straight past you. Okay. Um, this pipe, <laughs> d- does it go from floor to ceiling or is there some space above and below it? The pipe. Yeah. There's some space below. Okay. Uh, oh, God, yeah. I'd like to do a um, withdraw action, but what I want to do in the new withdraw action is aggravate the steam effort by going <laughs> and then rolling under the pipe and turning up here and going <laughs> intently. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm just going to draw it away, obviously. Yeah, it'll go here and it'll aim for you. I like that. You have a okay. deck saving throw, DC 10. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, take that you. shit shall take that <laughs> you have extra dry hair now <laughs> okay no mo uh, probably not such a clear shot if I go down here I'll take a shot at this steam method okay yeah I say that's fine because the one in the middle is dead oof okay and it explodes Within five feet. Doesn't damage the other bullywog. It's clear. This one hops over, starts working on the pipe. <laughs> Can we it. try to say to these bullywogs that we'll go out in front, we'll check to see if everything's clear, then you can come. They nod, saying... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, hmm. so you go ahead of the bullywogs who are still working on the pipe. Yeah. Icky being of great well, use... Well, uh, I'll be the bodywork liaison officer. What are these walls made of? Like solid stone sort of thing? Yeah, exactly that. Can we stabilize the dead bodywork or is it like gone forever? He's dead. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I'll kick him in the magma. <laughs> magma. Magma. And it disappears. <laughs> bloop, bloop, bloop. Gone. <laughs> okay, so ahead. Each make a roll to go over the magma if you haven't yet done so. Yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, those nearby see. Poor Terry! See Lice slip. Oh, good God. <laughs> what are you all doing? <laughs> Actually, it was a DC5. Nomo, you just about make it. Just about? Yep. You stagger over, but Lice, who was next to the corpse and the fluid from the creature, you slipped on it, and in you went. <laughs> you all see this. I'm going to say... Oh, God. There is damage. What What do you do? Boil. Boil. <laughs> Boil. What's your instinct, Lice? Um, turn around, get back out again. I'm going to run over as soon as I see this, and off my hand to try and pull him out. Okay, an athletics check, please. With advantage because of Hector's help. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> advantage. Do it again. Oh, shit. <laughs> God. Oh, that's better. Oh, dude. Good work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you take 4d6 damage Ooh. from the fire. Oh, this is magma we're talking about. <laughs> we're <on> magma. <laughs> <laughs> Am I rolling for that, Imagine? Yes. Yes, please. Okay, 46. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, you barely get out with uh, Hector's help. You're dragged out. Oh, no. And you see Lysa's body just... Yeah. <laughs> Steam <laughs> hissing. <off. laughs> what do you guys do? Make a I, death I t- Take out any water I, I have and pour it over him. Take off the outer clothes that have most of the, the magna on. Okay. Does anyone have a healing potion? I do. 
Can I recognise the healing potion on Laius that isn't burnt? Uh, give me a perception check. So you're looking through his clothes. He's stealing my stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, how many does he have? <laughs> Just the one. <laughs> okay, after uh, six or so seconds, you find, yeah, what looks to be, okay. you recognise a healing potion. I, I pour one down his throat. Okay, you get 1d8 plus 5 or something like that? Uh, 1d8 plus 7, yeah. 1d8 plus 7, a healing potion? Yeah. 10. Okay, lovely. Okay. Cool. Yeah. What uh, the heck? <laughs> with a burning sensation, and you're a little disorientated. No. And you definitely do have blisters now. Much of my clothing and stuff have gone, I, I imagine. Mm. Yeah. Um, after this session, if you just let me know, we'll discuss the backpack. Yeah. But you got out very quick, so some things will be damaged, but... Mostly, it'll be okay. Oh, okay. yeah. Okay, after that, I'm going to say that you were all extra careful. You, you all jumped over without a problem. I already brought my athletics note to 19, so... You did? Okay, great. Lice, I'm, I'm going to give you this one. Are you sure? I mean, I can I can do what Terry did and dash, and then see what happens. Okay, do it. Just don't... Yeah, you you move aside from... I guess from, factor, from yeah. where the, we'll, You, you we'll move aside from we'll where we'll the Bollywog died. And try again. <laughs> And we'll stand here ready to sort of help him across, grab him Seven. at least. I've been made it. Yep, you, uh, you dash across. <laughs> Hector, did you do it? I haven't yet. <laughs> ah, yes. Oh, <laughs> you feel very at home with this trivial, trivial stuff. Okay, <laughs> the bullywigs are done. Fixed. And they point forward. Let's tiptoe this time. <laughs> How do we uh, signal? Three, two, one. Terry just nods, and it's all apparent. Uh, but let's like <laughs> let's do it faster because so far every time we like we're about to sneak up on them, they, they realise because you know we're fast around them. Okay, let, let's skip the three, two, one. Once we're all set, then hold up one, and then shoot. You should just raise an arm and then lower it uh, like your. Yeah, uh, okay. Giving a salute or giving it the command to. Or whatever, whatever we do, we've got it down. We know what right. we're doing. Yeah, right. okay. Whatever it is. <laughs> I'm going to hold you as I get around that corner. Okay. Gonna... Okay. Yeah. You've got that sort of that flat palm. Um, it looks like a howl from the front, but means killing means halts if you're in like a commando and a line to be behind you. Using simple military sign language, I'm going to say they're around the corner. We're going to rush them. Three, two, one. Okay. Then essentially you come across a hive where these magma seem to be circling around. Using your expertise and your guile, you've what you've learned about these creatures, you, you come up with a system with your three, two, one. <laughs> Is it, no, 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 just a one. Just a one. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, yeah, just a one. There's and more you, chance and, for things to say magma. Magma. Yes, before they say magma. <laughs> and, and you charge them, keeping your distance so not to uh, be in, in line of their explosions. Once you get back up with your surviving two bullywogs, please, please, and the lizard marches you back to your cell, saying... Does he still have his seven mates with him? He does, he does. Yeah. He says, next time there's a job to do, I'll keep you guys in mind. I can see that you are worth something. <laughs> you won't be fed to the lizards in Red Hall just yet. <laughs> And he leaves uh, you in the cell. Okay, I, I asked the guy what his name is. The one I'm going to kill at some point. <laughs> Commander or master? <laughs> but how am I supposed to distinguish you between all the other commanders and masters? I am Commander Nimitz. Don't Commander you Nimitz. forget it. Two for six oh one. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just do not forget my name. I shall not. I shall write a list. Uh-huh. It's what all the cool okay, sorry, people do. Cersei, <laughs> the hound. <laughs> and in the depths of the night, as you sit in your cell and enjoy the rest of the wine, and you, occasionally they come back and feed you some more, he returns and says, I have your plans. I can get you into Red Tour. It'll have to be now. Right. And that's where we ended. 
Okay. Uh, good session, well, guys. guys. Good session. Um, um, thanks. So, uh, be a Thank you. Any, uh, leveling up? A couple of weeks break, but you have now made level three. Hooray. So level up, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, cool. Well, well done, everyone. Well done. Well done. Thanks Hello. very much, John. I'm, I'm sitting Cheers. in the corner, rubbing cream on my face. <laughs> Terrified of fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You already had friends, didn't you? I've, I've been burnt thrice, <laughs> I believe. Yeah. Soon you'll have a fear yeah. as big as Nomo's fear of fire. Yeah. yeah. I think I, I've, I've rivaled it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've only been burned once. Yeah. <laughs> Go. Right. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you.